and welcome to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you a very budget friendly meal that is nutritious, healthy and it will leave your family asking for more. If you're first time stopping by my channel, my name is Sonia and you're watching Domestic Diva. A couple weeks ago I have put out an invitation on my YouTube channel for as many of you as you want to join me for my $10 budget fr uh, friendly um, dinner for for a family whether your family is two four six um, I just ask that you come up with a recipe to share with us that will uh, come in under ten dollars and feed your whole family that was the only rule that there was and I wanted you to show me the prices and what you are making and share the recipe so I'm going to get started with mine, but just before I do, I want to thank everybody for joining me. And if you're stopping by from one of the other channels, let me know down below, say hello. And also there will be a playlist, which is linked down in the description box. So make sure you check out everyone else's recipe. I'm sure there's gonna be tons of ideas for you to choose from. So I will be making chicken stir fry, and these are my ingredients. So I have a pound of chicken breast here, which is $4. Then I will be using half a bag of this uh, frozen broccoli from Costco and the full bag comes with four of these bags and they're $10. So half a bag would be $1.25. Um, two peppers, these are also from Costco and a bag of six was $6. So two of them are $2. And uh, then I will also be, which is not here, making a cup of rice. And I'm using, the rice that I'm using is basmati rice. And I get a nine pound bag. A nine pound bag is $10. And I'm using a cup of it. Well, actually for my family, I will only be making half a cup. But I did include a price for a full cup, which is 60 cents. And then the rest of the stuff are just uh, seasoning. So I will need some olive oil just like a splash and then I have some salt pepper and crushed red chili pepper flakes some uh, brown sugar then I have apple cider vinegar so I have a tablespoon of each here this is I just eyeball it pinched like some salt pepper and a little bit of chili flakes quarter cup of soya sauce one tablespoon of um, grinded up ginger and I buy this one this is a full thing of ginger I already use some is only $2.94 and I keep it in my freezer that stuff lasts me for several months and I do cook with ginger often and it asks for four garlic cloves I put a little bit of more a little bit more so my uh, so pound of chicken was four dollars and four dollars were peppers, so that's eight dollar twenty-five. So I am at nine twenty-five. Then sixty cents for rice, which is uh, nine eighty-five. And I do not think that there's uh, really much more than twenty-five cents here of seasonings. But we all have seasonings at at home, and they come at different prices. But there is not much here. So I am coming in at under ten dollars and I will have a delicious meal here that is also very healthy. So I'm going to get started. First thing that I'm gonna do is cut up my chicken breast. So now I'm going to cut up my veggies.
So I'm going to get my rice started first. And I'm just going to add half a cup and bring it to a boil and cook it for about, takes about 20 minutes after the boil. I started preheating the wok and the first thing that's gonna go in there is chicken. And I put about a splash of olive oil because this is non six uh, wok. I love this wok. I got it at HomeSense uh, and it was a really good deal. It's Breville and it works really well and it holds quite a bit, which is what I like about it. Just have to be careful not to scratch the surface. So here goes the chicken. I'm gonna cook it for about two minutes per side, so about four or five minutes until chicken is just about cooked. chili flakes, some ginger root, and the crushed garlic. I'm gonna give this a stir fry. And all these colors just make me so happy. <laughs> so the last thing that I'm going to be adding is some soy sauce, my apple cider vinegar, and some brown sugar. You can also substitute this for uh, sugar, brown sugar substitute. Whichever one you're using, you can you could probably even leave it out. It's just one tablespoon, I figured. I can add it. for two more minutes and voila, it's done then. Here it is, all done. And my rice is done. I'm just gonna put it all together. So here it is. Mine, I did not add rice, but the kids will have rice with it. So I'd like to thank everybody for joining me in this challenge. Make sure you check out the playlist. Let me know if you're coming down from someone else's channel to my channel in the comments below. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And see you in the next video.